now? Yeah. All right. Whenever we see a pull-up bar, over. challenge Lucy to a little pull-up challenge. This one? Or this one? Whatever you, whatever you feel like. Okay. Yeah, face us. Whoa. How many? More. Nice. Four. Not bad. Do. I don't think anyone expected you to do that in that dress. <laughs> I didn't even think about what I was wearing. Koda, vlog me. <laughs> Ready? Go. Cheating? What? Arms need to be straight at the bottom. They really? were halves, yes. Yeah, no, I'm doing half pull-up challenge. <laughs> straight arms, like lower yourself fully down. Well, too tall. Do you do this way then? Fully down. Yes. Cool. <laughs> so George says it's because it's a funny angle that that's the reason we're doing halves. Oh, jumped into that a bit much. Cool. I haven't warmed up. <laughs> we're good, we're good. <laughs> this way I think it was, wasn't it? <laughs> good morning guys anyway. Welcome to the vlog. It's knackered me out to be fair. Yeah, it's a nice little morning workout. It's probably because I did a hundred push-ups in the condo this morning already. Ten. Probably Best why. Anyway, good morning, welcome. We are back in BGC. Happy to be back. Always feels like we're coming home. I said this when we um, landed at the airport yesterday. Feels like we're, we had an amazing trip out, going around some of the islands. Hope you enjoyed the vlogs. Plenty more videos to come. Sorry, do we have to cross that way? We right? are, yeah, I think so. We are only in Manila for a, today and tomorrow, I believe. No, just today. Just today? Oh yeah, we leave tomorrow again. Yeah. We're leaving tomorrow again. So another little trip on the way. Um, yeah, today is a BGC day. Yes. We're just get, walking around. We're going to pick up our morning coffee from... Okay, good. It is still there. Ankan. Did you think it was good? I, yeah, I was, I was looking, looking for the around. Arabica logo. That's why. Right. Okay, yeah. Ankan here. Try and stay in the shade as much as possible because it is very, very hot today. But beautiful blue skies. Let's go straight into the weather check. Wow, blue skies. Oh, but today, we, while we were away, while we were on our little island extravaganza tour, we saw loads of posts all over Instagram and Facebook and YouTube of this new store that's opened in BGC. Crazy lines, people queuing for hours, and it looks very cool. I don't actually know anything about it or what it is exactly, but we're gonna go and check that out later, hopefully. I assume it's there, I hope, I hope it wasn't just a pop-up. Oh no, I haven't actually it looked looks into that. Okay, it looks like ridiculous, crazy, never seen anything like it before. Except um, for in Dubai. Hmm? I think they had a similar store in Dubai. I didn't see that. Oh. With like things inside it. Yeah. No, I didn't see remember. that. When we were in Dubai Mall recently, the biggest mall in the world, in the world, we Are you saw. Sure? I saw this crazy. I was like, Luce, look, look in there. It's like that does not look like a shop. It looks futuristic. There's like weird, massive people and people made out of trees and I don't know what I it is. I don't think I looked. I don't know if it's Sorry. the same thing. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll look at it probably later. <laughs> and we've also got um, lunch reservations at a new spot in BGC. So it's going to be like a fun BGC food, coffee, yes. exploring day today. Spend the day with us. Yes. Classic juicy vlog today. Back in our favourite city in the world. Yes. We are very happy to be here. We are going to pick Looking up some coffee. Looking at the coffee. tallest building in the Philippines right now. Yeah. Grand Love Hyatt, that. tallest building in the Philippines. We do have to wait a little while though for this store to open because we forgot here that the culture is kind of pushed back a few hours like the mall doesn't open till 11. The I even so wanted late. yeah that's so that's that's later than a Sunday opening in the UK in the UK yeah. 10 o'clock's late and we're like oh it's not open till 10. 11 what do people do until 11 o'clock like what is the reason for this? I don't because know. Because we like I guess maybe it's because people put their kids to bed later here and they wake up later maybe but Koda goes to bed really early so we don't really go out for late dinners anymore and we're up at like 6 a.m we're like what what can we do oh everything's closed. <laughs> Guys, I am so excited to be sharing the sponsor of today's video with you. It's a brand that is just perfect for us and our family. And as a mum, seeing your children play with toys that they love is just the best feeling in the world. Seeing them love playing and also learning at the same time is the best feeling. So behind me right now, I think I'm actually covering it. I'm gonna move to the side and you're gonna see something we picked up for Coda from Hape Toys. Look at it. It's Coda's first kitchen and honestly, I am super impressed by this. I built it yesterday. I'm gonna put a video in here of me building it. Didn't take me very long at all and I am just blown away by how cool this thing is. I would have absolutely loved this as a child. Let me show you closer right now. So this is the all-in-one kitchen. I mean, I'm pretty sure this does more than my actual kitchen. We've got a dishwasher, an oven, and a little twisty knob, a microwave that 
dings. A coffee machine, Coda's favorite. My personal favorite, there's a light in the extractor fan. How amazing. It also came with some accessories. So we've got a little frying pan, some pots and pans and things like that. But we did also pick up a few extras from Hape as well. So we've got some of the like the classic chopping fruit and veg, but I mean, I swear it wasn't like this when I was a kid. Look at this one, this is called Tasty Proteins. The banana's actually peelable, which is epic. So this is what I mean when I say it's fun toys, but there's also this aspect of learning as well. And then we've got the little knife here with the fruit so you can practice chopping on his kitchen worktop right here. If any of you guys are thinking of gifts for your own kids this Christmas or for family members or friends, then I would really highly recommend to look at Hape's website. We're gonna leave it linked below in this video. They really do just have so many wonderful toys. Like even this is a little radish, it's amazing. There's a potato that's got a serrated edge so he can practice grating. It really is a joy to be collaborating with a brand like Hape because I think we definitely have similar beliefs and I already know that Coda is just going to adore his new kitchen and he's gonna get some practice in because my dream one day is for him to cook meals with me if we could both be in the kitchen cooking our family dinner it'll be a dream come true so feel free to check out the link below if you guys are interested in it for yourself Hi. Hi. I even wanted to go to Uniqlo but even that doesn't open to 11 so coffee is the answer this has become way less arabica y in this store. They've like changed the colors of the walls now, and they even have more Ancan red, which is cool because when these first got taken over, we noticed that it was pretty much exactly the same as arabica. And but now look, the chairs are the different. Chairs are more like rattan, like Filipino. Yeah, this is local style. It's got its own identity now, really, really yeah. cool. And the coffee's great still. later on now before it's open and it might be the best time to actually show you before it gets busy later this is it's so, cool. so freaky it's so realistic it's called gentle monster this store here and it's basically this huge man it's quite realistic here, see if you can see. it's ridiculously realistic look, look at the beard hair look at the leg hair mm. we'll go in later guys so if this is really rubbish to look at don't worry we'll show you it properly later so weird and like even here it's just on like old rubble it's, it's bizarre crazy. yeah and when the store opens he like wakes up and gets up and walks around what? i'm joking oh, I <laughs> ah, yes i got a lion <laughs> <laughs> and i actually have no idea what they're selling it might be sunglasses there's sunglasses along here they're nice looking sunglasses but i'm more interested in seeing this giant man also come with me let me show you something can you see the man wow it's can dada. you see the big ear who's that man, man. can you Who see where's his toe look you can see his toes and opening up just around the corner, we have seen another Arabica. So Arabica coffee is back in Manila in a big way. Yeah. New store popping up right next to Because Coffee, Harlan and Holden. Plenty of good coffee options now. What is it? It's an eye. Yeah, we're definitely going to head back there a bit later and show you inside the store. Um, and actually I wanted to see where our dinner is later, it's over there, but I don't know, I've never been there, so I wanted to see it, but I think we're going back now, because it's a bit too hot to go. So yeah, later on we're trying out a Japanese restaurant, which is very exciting, we love Japanese. It's around this area, but I don't actually know where yet, so I wanted to suss it out before, um, but obviously in the middle of the day we are. Hi! <laughs> we are in the middle of the day going to let Koda get back for his nap, as we always do. When we're in a big city and we don't have to, nap him out like for example if we're doing a travel day and we don't have a choice he sleeps on the boat on the plane and we try and get him to bed there but when we have the choice of a couple of hours of downtime for him in nice air conditioning in his own cot with his toy bunny and his little sleeping bag he wears it means he gets better quality sleep so we take that opportunity and then George and I get some editing done or something um, so that's what we're going to do today and it's quite nice for us having a little break in the middle of the day to cool down and to reset as well instead of just being out all day 
because we're getting old now. We don't. We can't be out all day. Very true. Very true, especially me. <laughs> Manila is looking a bit odd today, weather-wise. Blue skies and sun. Blue skies, bit of cloud. Grey skies. Very dark. So maybe there's a big thunderstorm on the way, but we're going to get codes back in the car now. Get the AC blasting. Cool everyone down. Head back to the condo and make some breakfast. Let's go. Okay, finally managed to park the car pretty badly, but we were within the line. Just a little bit wonky, that's all. We are coming here for lunch. Sakagura, Japanese restaurant. So very excited about this. This used to be, I once got a coffee in this spot. This used to be some bar. kind of little coffee, wine, wine thing. snack yeah. bar kind of thing. But yeah. anyway, shall we? Brand yeah. new Japanese spot, BGC. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, thank you. Thank hello, you. hi, hi. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, hello. Oh, wow, you. super nice. I just tried that wagyu. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like you don't even have to chew it. No, true. You don't, it dissolves. It just melts yeah. in your mouth. I've had, that's the softest, most kind of succulent beef I've ever had. Easily. I eat a lot of, so I'm now gonna try the duck, which I think you have a little bit of this sauce. And this is like roasted duck. Looks amazing, cooked perfectly. Let's try. Mmm. Mm. So much flavor, delicious. Going down very well with the sake and the cocktails that they brought out for us as well. We've been very much looked after here. And this is right in BGC. This is right in, like in the mall. It feels like you've walked into it's Japan. Like it does not at all. It feels like you've literally walked into a small restaurant in Japan. The size is perfect because when Lucy and I have been to Japan in the past, we've stumbled across, you kind of just walk through these alleys. If you've never been to Japan, it's so cool. You go into the main city, then you kind of take side roads and it gets smaller and smaller, tighter and tighter, narrower and narrower. And these restaurants are just like lined up and there's room for maybe only six or seven people in some of these. And they're tiny and they're intimate. You eat fast and then you have to give your seat up because people want to get in and eat. There's no kind of, it's all about the eating. That's what I love about Japan. When you go into a restaurant, it's not like a slow chill, like sitting for hours after you finish chatting. You are there for the amazing food. And to have that experience in BGC in the Philippines is very, very cool. <laughs> so fresh and light. There's avocado in this one. Really enjoying this meal here. Just like being in Japan. So fresh. The ingredients got flown in today from Japan. So it's super authentic. So this is the matcha layered cake. It looks so cool. It's like loads of little mini crepe cake slices layered up with the icing in the middle. And it creates this very cool effect. So I'm going to try it. It's really good. Yeah. It's such a cool texture. All the layers squish down even flatter. And it's like, it's a really cool texture. It's a really nice feeling, yeah. And the cream's kind of cold. 
It's a bit moosey. Oh. Yum. So you may have just seen there, we managed to buy a replacement tripod and I don't actually know if I've told this story on the vlog yet, but we put the camera underneath the buggy. I didn't realize it was under there. So I'm at the airport on my own trying to fold the buggy up to give to the guy that's gonna take it onto the plane for us. I'm crushing the camera into like, the buggy you're bag. Like, why is it not folding? Because I just thought like there was something like not right about the buggy for a second. And I hear like a crack and I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's just the buggy. Like it, it's a travel buggy. It can go through it. A minute later, I'm looking around like, where's the camera? I'm like, George, where's the camera? We've lost the camera. We can't lose the camera. He's like, oh no, it's under the buggy. I'm like, what, this buggy? The Luke, one that's inside, folded Lucy's up been inside like a bag. Brush trying to fold the buggy onto the camera. <laughs> Awful. Anyway, I snapped the tripod off of the camera. Luckily, the camera's fine, the microphone's fine. Snapped the tripod, but it was old and we needed to replace it anyway because it had gotten loose. So it was just an excuse for that, really. Um, Perfect. Yeah. It's quite a good story to end off the life of the original tripod. True. Now we have a nice new tripod, yeah. which is exactly the same. Exactly but a lot nicer because the legs have gone very flappy. You don't want flappy legs, guys. You really do not want flappy legs. Anyway, huge thanks to the Japanese restaurant, new Japanese restaurant in BGC. Very, very nice, delicious food. We had a few sips of some of their cocktails that they offer there. Yeah, very cool. We will definitely be going back there if you're in BGC ever. Go and check it out. They're playing in from Japan, so it's super authentic and yeah, just really nice experience. And right on the high street, very easy location, very cool location nice time of day in BGC. People have finished work, out and about. It's getting a little bit cooler. The sun is not out currently, so very, very nice. We are swinging back past Gentle Monster, and I do want to go in and see this guy. I want to see this massive dude in here. I want to see it up close. I want to get personal with him. There's no queue. Not too personal. Yeah, there's no queue either. So I think the hype has died down a little yeah. bit, obviously since the opening, but just such a cool store. It's like, it's reinvented what, a retail store can be. So they've even got the, the thingy outside ready for a queue. Yeah, look, they're anticipating queues. But like, it's quite striking that there's just this giant sat there and it's so realistic. Look at his elbows. Okay, uh, so it seems to be a sunglasses store. <laughs> Fancy some new sunglasses? I don't really What's wear sunglasses the price? I don't know. Anymore. What's the price? Are they, they look super expensive. Yeah, people are just getting selfies, selfies with the guy. Look at those feet, that is so weird. Like if giants were a real thing, this is what it would oh, be yeah, like. True. <laughs> Look at this. I actually really, really hate it. Do you? It makes me feel a bit weird. You have nightmares. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Look. Loose, loose, loose. You need to stand here for scale. For the thumbnail. Yeah. Like, no, because he's got leg hair and I've gone all itchy oh my and I, God. I don't like it. It's real hair. It's not what you know. Obviously, I'm not going to touch it, but this is what it's like for babies when they like meet their parents, isn't it? Not quite. It's more like really spiders and ants and insects. I really don't like it. Guys, let's, do you want to? It's really realistic. Who wants a toe close up? I'm going to give you a toe close up. But put your hand there for scale. Just to show you the size. But like, I mean, I have no idea what this is made out of, but the detail is super impressive. It's really impressive. Like the veins in the feet, the veins throughout the whole thing. I can't actually believe it. Yeah, they look cool actually. They suit you. The black headbands. Wow. What's that? What? Those. What is it? Those. It's an eye. Uh -huh. Eye. Eye. <laughs> eye. Eye. There's actually some quite nice sunglasses in here. I keep trying loads on because they're just like laid out ready for you to try on. 
No, they, they do not look good on me. Let's take them off. Yes. So let's show George these. And they even have like regular glasses as well. These are huge. They look like 3D glasses in my If you could